Hello everybody, this is Abraham with North Shore Computer Services and today I have a project. It is a project for school. Uh, this is uh, uh, something that we've seen on uh, YouTube um, where you have three lamps and you have three switches and you have uh, uh, you cover the lamps you can only open the box once to determine uh, which switch connects to which lamp. So the original project could have used just the extension cord with three plugs on it, three lamps with plugs on them, and you can just name the plugs like ABC and lamps one, two, three, cover it with a shoe box and uh, allow shoebox to be opened once and determine which lamp goes to which uh, plug. You, of course you mix the wires and uh, create confusion. Now what I was thinking of doing is uh, creating this for a school project uh, so that uh, my son can take it to school and uh, show to the kids and they can basically keep it in the classroom and keep this uh, mind riddle um, occupying some kids so for that I thought it needs a little more uh, presentation it needs to be a little more um, robust so what I got here is uh, from um, uh, uh, the hardware store I got this pieces and this I got from Michael's the home uh, the hobby store. Some tools we're going to need to use, so drill bit, screwdriver, side cutters, nose needle, needle nose, uh, knife, some uh, uh, electrical tape, drill to drill the holes, uh, scissors, and uh, hopefully this should be enough. If not, we'll bring in some more tools. So the uh, parts list for this is uh, this is from Michaels the box was uh, 549 and uh, you get a 40% off coupon I'm sure you can find it at Michaels so it ends up being about uh, 2 yeah about 2480 so the box was 280 these things from the hardware store, I went and got it at Menards. Uh, the total cost for this was $13. So the PVC box is uh, $218. These I was going to buy separately lights and uh, sockets. And uh, it ended up being more expensive to buy them separately than already having the wires on it. Uh, so those were seven dollars and forty-seven cents at two forty-nine each. Um, switches they were forty-eight cents each, and uh, the plate was one forty-four, one thirty-six. I'm sorry. No, sorry. This is ninety-nine cents and one forty-six for this. So the total cost is fourteen. Fourteen plus uh, about uh, three dollars, so seventeen. And I went ahead and I got the uh, set of screws and these were two dollars so at the Ace Hardware. So that's parts. Uh, uh, one thing that I did forget was the wire knots. I will just use electrical tape to uh, get all that. Uh, the plan is to basically take the electrical switch box and attach it to the this book looking box like this with these screws okay uh, the switches go in here the electrical ex extension cord we're just going to use it for the cord just goes in there and uh, these we don't need the um, plugs we're just going to cut them off and connect to switches so uh, the lights through the hole drill a hole so a hole two holes for the uh, screws one big hole for all the wires and we're going to place the lights in the box 
And I'm just going to lay them down, uh, not securing with anything, because you can mix them up and create more confusion. So um, I guess, you know, you open, you look at it, you close. So that, that was the idea of getting this kind of box. Let me draw the electrical diagram for this project. It is, for those who know anything about electricity, it's very, very simple. Uh, I guess when you do it in front of a camera, it's really easy to get confused. But So we have three lamps, and they would be A, B, C. We have three switches. Okay, so lamps have two connectors. And uh, basically we have the power of 110. So now there is probably a better way to do this would be with a battery, not have to plug into power and LEDs. However, this experiment relies on incandescent light bulbs. Cannot use LEDs. If you use tiny bulbs that run off of, uh, you know, like 12 volts, might not be good enough. In fact, these bulbs are small um, because one of the factors of the, uh, this trick is the heat from the lamp. So you, you have to use lamp that generates heat. Um, in the video, the guy was using actual 100 watt light bulbs because those really get hot and that's how you make the trick so let's see we'll connect this one over here this one over here and this one over here so one side of the lamps goes to basically uh, the white uh, terminal which is ground and the other side of the lamps goes to the switch so you can control the lamps and I guess do that okay so so this is the diagram for it we have lamp Control through a switch going to the phase uh, or one terminal of the uh, electrical cord and the other one is just all connected together going to another one. Uh, the diagram will come in handy a little later. Don't need that right now. So what we do need right now is to prepare our um, things that we're going to work with. So number one, peel off the stickers, don't need the stickers. In fact, I'm going to have the kids decorate the box with uh, some paint, make it look nice, colorful. The most difficult job about this project is to have these things cut off. Okay, this plastic is fairly tough. Um, I don't have a drill to uh, get those off. So what I'll be using is uh, not very safe method, the sight cutters and knife. All right, so let's get going. Oh, it's actually a lot less tougher than I thought it would be. Oh my God. Okay, it's more brittle. They used to make these boxes so tough. You can't... Wow. Well, I guess um, that's all right. For our purposes, it does not matter. It doesn't need to be very tough. So, but I am surprised at how brittle they are. So when you work with these things in the field, you got to be careful when you smash them with the hammer because they'll break. Okay. For our purposes, Perfect, just perfect. I love it. We don't really need this piece. Uh, my side cutters are very long, so I'm gonna use some. Oops. Knife. Get this piece out. 
out, out, and about. There you go. So, use the knife to get some sharp edges off. That's probably uh, the most difficult thing to be preparing. This box. All right, so the box is ready. Uh, one thing we're gonna need to do is drill some holes. <coughs> the holes will be so that the two pieces lay flat on the table. Um, so we need to adjust where the holes are gonna be or figure out the place. So right about here, two holes for the screws. And we are going to use our drill bit. So what we have here is basically a screw with a spacer and I got some washers so that it's easier to insert those things. last piece of the puzzle is we'll just push out one of these, um, um, uh, th they're plastic pieces that hold the box kind of in place. So we're just going to use one to pull our wires and drill a hole in, in, the, uh, in that box that looks like a book. So this, this is almost ready. Uh, we're going to insert our screws and we're going to mark going to mark on this side where we want our uh, screws to be, or holes I should say. So that should be good enough. Just gonna score. The wood on the box is fairly soft, so it's very easy to deal with. There is one. And just for making sure we're gonna do it that way. Here is our indentation for the second one. Uh, as I said, very simple project. Will not take very long to do, but it is going to create a lot of fun for kids in school or even uh, it's a good party tool. 
I mean, this trick will um, throw adults off too. It's for everybody. I'm doing it for kids, but uh, anybody would be benefiting from this. So now we're just going to make our big fat hole for the rest of the wires. And uh, let's see, it's going to be about here. This box is very, very fragile, so it's really not designed to be thrown around. And, uh, when you drill things like that, you gotta be careful. All right, let's prepare our electrical system. And like I said, the system. Uh, Call it electrical system. This is very, very easy project as far as electricity goes. So, what we're going to do is test our electrical components. So, here is that. I'll open. Lights, camera, action. Now, looks like these things have been laying around in a store for a long time. Uh, because even the rubber that holds these things on in place deteriorated. That means it's been around for a few years. No one needs this stuff. Everyone wants LED. All right. Okay. I was thinking on how to utilize these uh, uh, pressure springs in my project, and I really can't think of how. It just doesn't fit into how this project works. So I'm thinking if uh, they're easy to cut through. I'll just remove them. If not, I'll just leave them. So, but first we're going to check on whether they even work. And we're going to plug in this. It works! And see, the problem is it doesn't get very hot very quickly. So, the trick is to keep it on for a while. So once I get the project completed, uh, I'll show you how the trick works. And they lose heat quickly. Mm. I don't know if this will be good enough. I might have to get, uh, I don't know if these are, let's see. There's seven and a half watts, so, well, We'll have to do it. Uh, all right, this one works. And the last one works. So we got lights that work. We got box with holes. Might need these twist ties. And uh, let's see if we can utilize Oh, easy. Okay. Easy peasy. All right, so we don't really need those metal pieces. I'm just going to use uh, lamps like that. So I don't know if that was in the uh, camera, but I just basically opened up and broke off. So very good material as far as 
taking it apart, uh, putting it into your house and uh, making it work, probably not so good. It's very cheap stuff. So, good. We got all that. Now, I'm going to need our screwdriver. And as I said, this project is very simple as far as uh, how it um, electrical system is. All right. What we have here is this thing. And remember, it's plugged in. So unplug before you continue on with the project. Um, if these, oh, you know what? Oh, I would love to just pull these things through, but my holes aren't big enough. I'm going to have to cut them off, but man, it would have been nice. I could actually bury mm, conceptually, pro probably. I could bury all these things right in the electrical box, but my holes wouldn't allow for any of this to pass through, so I'm going to have to cut them off. Sadly, that's not needed. Now, if this was plugged in and you cut it, you would have had a big shock. It would have would have been a surprise with sparks flying don't need that here we need safety okay one I'm just gonna see how how much cord we're gonna need gonna need some but probably not gonna need all so this goes in here, like so, and uh, may have to use some, some glue to secure this, but we'll see. So that goes here, and, uh, this goes here. That's probably way too much. Cut this piece off. We need some cord, but this would be a little too long. All right. Separate it. And all the other ones will do the same. Just measure the same amount of cord. Cut it off. Last piece, same amount of cord, cut it off, all right, okay, one of the things that I mean, it's not critical for this project, but it is uh, uh, something that, as an electrician, you should be aware of. One side of the cord has little ribs on it to indicate that it's uh, uh, separate from this, so you know on which side, which one's which. So you want to have all the rib parts go to one tie, all the smooth parts goes to another tie. Uh, like I said, for this project, not a big deal but just to be consistent with um, electricity because electricity does not forgive it will kick your butt all right so we got six screws that one was not really needed just yet but it doesn't hurt we have our actually i'm gonna put it in the other way I'm going to have the 
screw heads on the inside of the box so that it's neater. Inserting like so, and the reason for the big washers is because this wood is very f fragile, so to speak. It's not made to be abused. All right, get that. And the reason I'm putting washers on this side is. On the inside there is no flat surface inside of the box so washers are gonna keep our project occupied okay I'm going to need to adjust a little bit uh, when I was cutting drilling is a little plastic uh, deformed so just gotta cut it off so my nuts would fit over and uh, I thought I got pretty long screws but apparently if they were just tiny bit longer it would have been nicer and again working with a knife you gotta be careful Easy to cut yourself. Okay. Nope, so the cutters won't fit. My blade came out. Let's see. I don't have any more blades inside there. Okay. Just need to adjust this a little bit so that my, there. So that my uh, nuts will fit. Oh, screw fell out. Okay. Let's put the screw back in. Put the spacer, put the washer, reassemble our box. Now the nuts will fit. The nuts. Where did the nuts go? Here they are. Okay. Also, uh, driving the screw from the inside of the box is a little easier. Even though the project is easy, man, it requires it to work. It doesn't assemble itself, that's for sure. So this is what we have. So it just can lay flat on table. And we're just going to tighten our screws. So I'm going to grab the nut All right, and tighten the screw. All right, one down, one to go. All right. So now we have our uh, main component. Okay. We're going to insert our wires. And uh, we can do them one by one or we can do them all at once really preference of someone who does it. I like all at once. Um, 
I'm not working for speed here, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I just don't want to. I don't want a YouTube video to be taking too long. I know people get tired of this stuff, but uh, so now we have our lights. I'll just arrange them so that they are the cords is long enough, and we're gonna have this side connected with this cord, and on the outside. We're not going to punch the hole off like we did over there. We're just going to use it how it was designed. We're just going to push on it and squeeze the cord through. We don't need to make any more holes in this project than we have to. The other side, it was necessary to have a big hole because we've got lots of wires going in there. This one is actually, you want to have the uh, this plastic retainer hold it because now I put it in it will not come out and To make absolutely sure it doesn't come out. We'll tie a knot So we'll tie a knot Like so and now it's definitely not going anywhere now to pull it back I'm gonna have to push on this and get the knot flush on the inside. So now this one is not going anywhere. All right. Now we have to get our switches in order. So up would be on, down would be off, unless you're in England, which we, which is going to be upside down. And we can use our leftover wires because uh, the switches will need to be connected on one side. Um, so, let's see, here, this one will work just perfect. Separate, uh, you wanna get about an inch of wire on there, and as you pull, pull it apart, pull it apart a little bit and start twisting. What this will do is, because this is a multi-core uh, wire, it comes out nice, otherwise it'll be all frayed everywhere. And we're gonna take our bottom We're going to tie it like so. Now these switches are designed for a quick assembly where you can just insert the wire. These are too soft. They will not go in there. And second switch. do is measure about half and separate what I'm doing is I'm scoring the um, plastic and then separating the wire um, insulation So that instead of uh, cutting it up and creating two connections, we'll just have one connection. Okay, so this one will go like like so. For the last part, we're just going to clean off all right, so the last will be together with one of these. Get 
this one organized. All right, so we take our smooth part and we're just gonna connect all those smooth parts together. This would have been so nice to have a wire knot. I do not think I have a wire knot. That's one thing I haven't thought about. Wire knots are those uh, uh, knots you put over. Let me see if I have one somewhere. I just didn't think every possible part that I could possibly utilize in this project. And I do have wire knots, I just don't have them here, here. I have them somewhere. Yeah, I can't find one. That's all right. So we'll stick to the plan of using the electrical tape. Okay, so smooth, smooth, right. and uh, I have a soldering iron that can be soldered, but uh, for this project uh, it would be an overkill. But the wire knot would definitely be a good, good thing for this project. All right, so smooth, and then on this one we'll take the smooth and just connect them all together. All right, smooth to smooth. Too smooth, too smooth, and this is what I'm talking about, the wire knot, just put it over and uh, tighten it and it connects all the wires together nicely. Um, I don't have that, so I'm going to get this one on the bottom just so the wires stick together and we're not talking about a lot of load here these lights are so low wattage okay and we're gonna put our electrical tape over it one leg of the project. Okay, that's this one here. The other leg of the project is we clean off all these things, this, and connect it to the switches. So get this exposed. Alright. Exposed. And we really only need one wire knot because uh, all the other sides of uh, these cords are going to be held by switch screws. Okay, got last one. So all of the wires are properly exposed. And now it's basically an assembly time. Switch number one. And uh, at this point, I don't even know which lamp goes where. 
or which switch goes to which lamp. So and as I said, this project I'm doing a way overkill on uh, complexity, but this is for kids and you know when we have kids in the mix you want to have it safe nothing exposed All right. now the last one is a little trickier so what we have here is three lamps going to one side of the switch um, the other side of the lamps go to our connector for everything and the last so we have going to one side all the bottom sides of the switches are connected by same wire that jumps from one to another and then we connect the two like so and we're just going to Tighten it on the last switch. Very simple. And now just basically bury the wires. There is plenty of space in this electrical box. I'm not going to tighten them fully yet. because mother of all electrical projects is testing. All right, so let's look over, make sure nothing's touching anything, nothing's exposed, plug it in. One of them should be on, and it's on. Boom, 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 boom. Kids will love to play with this stuff just because it makes the changes. I love to play with it. All right, now I'm going to take our drill, pull the bit, jumpy, pull the bit out, take our screwdriver, pull the bit out. And now we have a power. Save a few moments off of the assembly time. One thing, definitely unplug it. These screwdrivers, it it gives you. Um, just pull this one out. It gives you four screwdrivers, two flat ones and two Phillips. It also gives you two drivers for the heads. So it's really cool. I, um, and it's priced. This whole thing is like two or three dollars. Unbelievable. Okay, and uh, I like Menards, but uh, I love Ace Hardware. Now those people at Ace, uh, at, at least in where we live, you walk in there and they offer help and they don't just ask because they got nothing else to do they really really help you they know their store they know their stuff they um, I mean nothing but praise 
And as far as prices go, if you think that Ace is more expensive, not really. It's almost the same cost. But the service, unbelievable. I'm sure each store is different, but uh, our store is amazing. I absolutely love it. And it's close by too. Menards, usually I have to drive by. There is, I don't know why they build them this way. There is never one near your house, no matter where you live. Unless you live right next to it. So, I guess not too many people live right next to it. I'm just babbling. So, project nearly complete. What we have left to do is, of course, clean up, but uh, we need to mark one, two, three, and A, B, C. Last test. Oh, yeah, how it works. So, yeah, let's test it first. All work. So, you get to open the box once, but you need to know which light, which switch goes to which light. And to do that, uh, you can stop and think about it, but uh, I guess I've given enough of uh, hints and uh, answers on how, how this actually works. It's, uh, um, you could probably crack the code and answer the question. So, the way you do that is you flip one on and you leave it on. Why? Because that lamp over there will be warm. Okay, so now I flip it off and I look which one is warm. This one's warm. Okay, now I know that this switch goes to this light and I can flip the other one and find out this one goes here, this one goes there, and that one goes over there. Got it? We can make it even trickier. You can open box only once. So now what we have to do is make sure that these lamps are all cold. This experiment depends on the warmth of the lamps. So you cannot run this experiment consequently uh, one after another. Cool down our lamps. So now we take this one for example and light it up and wait and wait and wait. Make sure that the lamp in there gets really warm. Turn it off. Turn this one on. We know that this one is connected to this middle switch and then we just touch the other two. So I know this one goes over there. So even, uh, even cooler. So hopefully this helps somebody. Uh, instructions can be printed on the book. Um, of course, you know, we'll just mark. Let's see if I got the marker. So we got one, two, three. And what's nice about this is we can mix mix the lamps inside so that each time the uh, trick will be slightly different. So, like I said, very cool, very simple trick. I don't know if this is the cheapest possible way to do it, but certainly 20 bucks is not much for something that can be taken to school. And played with and honestly this you don't even need the trip just like that oh my god oh, gotta get it tight just like that 
without anything, it's a lot of fun. Christmas lights and stuff. All right. Hopefully this helps somebody. Um, if you have any questions, ask. Otherwise, enjoy. I will see the reaction of my kids. I am sure this will be a blast.